on a different project, in this case, related to medical prescriptions. Our client is a multinational company that operates in South, Central, and North America, and monthly receives thousands of images, and its operators manually transcribe them, coding each entity according to its database codes. For each prescription, it's necessary to code the doctor, the name of the doctor, the medicine with its information, dosage, application, and laboratory, and the institution where it was prescribed. You must know that detecting names is, is not enough. Entities must be coded in an exact way. Additionally, it's important you know that images are generally bad, low quality, angled, out of focus, shaded, mixed with other images taken from too far, etc. Here we can see an example. We can see the name of the doctor in blue circle and in red, medicines, dosage, and form of application. Here we can see two prescriptions. Another one, and the last two. Notice that the prescription is inside the picture we, we have, okay? So it's very difficult to detect exactly where the prescription and the entities are. Okay, which is the objective? The objective of this company obviously is to reduce transcription times and the cost. So we have set out to pre-process each prescription in order to present the obtained results on a screen with the purpose of validation and eventually correction by an operator. The project is economically viable only if operator intervention is minimal, allowing them to process more prescription, prescriptions by the hour. We have three problems, three issues to face. The first one is the transcription. The second one is the entity recognition. This implies detection of the entities in the text. And the last problem we have is coding the entities, that means as assign each entity its code in the basis of master tables. Okay, for the first problem, we try, first off, we try with public models, in particular transformer Titan model, but we decided to create our own HDR and baseline model with almost 10,000 prescriptions. We obtained better results. The second problem, with respect to name entity recognition, we analyzed three different options. The first one was to use NLP libraries like SPACY, NLTK, et cetera. The second one was to use cloud services like Amazon Comprehend Medical and others. And the last one was to use transformer models, specifically large language models. You know, these models require no training, because understand context and generate coherent responses. So this last option uh, has been the option of choice. So we try two models, a paid for and a free one. The first one, GPT 3.5 Turbo and Lama 2. Using GPT, we, have, we had superior it was superior to Lama 2, at, at least in our test. And the follow with procedure, it's important here to have a suitable prompt engineering and the implementation of retrieval augmenting generation, starting from a ground through with the format of 1,000 target descriptions saved in a vector store. Upon processing each prescription, look up of the closest format in vector store and use it as one shot example. The use, of, the use of embeddings allowed us to increment the percentage of recognize, recognized entities. Uh, here we can see uh, the JSON, uh, typical JSON file we are obtaining after the, the process with, with each entities. And the last, the last phase is the coding. It was necessary to normalize the JSON file. 
So we are doing a general cleaning, normalization of abbreviations, orthographic correction, Levenstein application, etc. Here we can see a before after example of the process. You can see the original text and below the normalized. So addition, once normaliz normalization is accomplished, Accomplished matching with database is relatively simple. Additionally, we are testing right now embeddings to search by cosine similarity when entities doesn't match exactly. Results until now. Doctors, 95% detected and correctly coded. And with respect medicine, 70% detected and correctly coded and 20% percentage 20 partially detected. Obviously, we are working right now to increment the percentage of efficacy, improving the, improving the process in all its stages. To finish, right now, right now we are in a full concept testing with the client. The test consists in the pre-processing of 50,000 prescriptions and the generation of metrics that can measure productivity. That's all, thank you very much for your attention. Are there any questions? Do you get a confidence score with uh, detections and can you use that? The customer is very, very happy with the results we are obtaining right now. We are very, the percentage are of 90, 90 percent, 95% in doctors and in medicine, 70%. Uh, but we are trying to improve the process. We, I, I, we, I know we can improve the process in each stage. We have a lot, a lot of work to do. We, we can in, in, Increment the percentage. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome.